How's it going, everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming, and I'm joined with the lovely T. Hi. Uh, we're going to be doing an RPG Maker MV tutorial today. This is on how to bring your effects to your animation into RPG Maker MZ. A lot of the ones that were already created, we didn't understand the file pathing exactly, so they've already been created with wrong file pathing. Going into the future, we won't have this issue as long as people create their effects with the right file pathing. Here we are in Effects here, and I've got a animation created and I wanna bring this one into RPG Maker MZ. I've removed all the sound effects from it because none of the sound effects are going to transfer over to MZ, so I recommend you do that as well. Get rid of all the sound out of it because it's not gonna transfer into MZ anyway. You handle that through MZ itself. So now that we've got all the sound removed from our effects seer file, we've found the animation that we wanna put into RPG Maker MZ. We need to take all of the texture files, all of the resources that this uses and put that inside your project file. So let's do that. That. So open up your project, go to game, open folder. You'll notice there's a new folder called effects. That's for the effects here. We're gonna put our EFK, EFC files in here. We're gonna put all of our PNGs in the texture folder, and we're gonna put any 3D models, the EFK model files inside of here, the effects model folder. So whenever you finish in effects here, you're going to save this file. So we've pasted all of the textures that we're going to use for this inside the effects textures, and we've saved the file inside your game effects folder. In this example, I've named mine Drifty Spark 2. If at first you notice that it just shows black screen here and it doesn't actually show you your animation, then it's probably a file pathing issue. So you load that EFK EFC file, go to your basic render settings, and if you don't see it, click on window. It's the golden box that says basic render settings. You're gonna replace all of the PNG file locations. So you have to find the same file that you already have, but load it from the textures folder. We're gonna click on load. Wherever it's finding it, you need to move and navigate to the folder of your games folder effects texture and then you find that texture with that exact same name it'll tell you the name of it right here also if you just kind of highlight over it it'll pop up if it's such a long file path that you can see the name right there so go through all of your nodes and replace the file path so that it looks inside your games effects texture folder uh, once that's done, don't forget to save and overwrite because this file has to be saved in a specific spot and all of your PNGs have to be in a specific spot and this file has to know where to look. For every node, every node must know where to look for its texture. So it all has to point to the texture folder in order for it to work right. Keep in mind if a single one of these isn't indexed properly, it may not work at all and it just shows a black screen. So I've removed all the sounds and anything that's not going to be used from the project. Now back inside RPG Maker MZ, you can save your project or close it and open it. If it's not working, you think it should be, you can try that as a last ditch effort. To use your EFK EFC file inside RPG Maker MZ, you're gonna go to the animations tab of your database. That's the cogwheel here the animations tab you can change maximum if you don't have space and then you're going to select the file name that you saved your EFK EFC file as in this case it was drifty spark 2 and if you see it test animating here you did it right and if it's not test animating here then the file pathings are still not set up right I've done this one three times actually because the the learning process for this is kind of confusing I thought I'd be able to do it and then just copy paste them in but that doesn't quite work you really need to move all of your files into the folder first then open up the file and then change all the pathing so that it points to the right directory now T and I are looking at a quicker, easier, better way to do this. But for right now, this is the way that we know how to do it. So if there's any new methods that come out to make this process simple and easier, we're gonna cover that and we'll put that on the channel for sure. But that's gonna do it for this short tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Love you guys very much. Come hang out on the Discord. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.